ain't nothing but a V thing. Okay, man, we got my dog, Jermaine Cole, J. Cole, having an EP, man. Uh, uh, I, like, I fuck with J. Cole, honestly, man. Like, ain't no question about that, man. J. Cole and K. Dot, man. And, like, honestly, man, they just, uh, they just them type of niggas that keep that Andre 3000, that, that, that Nas, that Tupac, that, that, you know, like a lot of them rappers from back then type of shit going, you know what I mean? The, the, the KRS ones and the ways of shit like that, you know, the LL Cool J's and the, you know, all them type of people. So, um, J. Cole, bro, I fuck with bro. But honestly, man, uh, like, I, I ain't hear this song. I never heard this song. I, like, cause, like, I be listening to a lot of J. Cole, like, old music a lot like not old music but you know like like his recent albums and shit but like uh i ain't never hit his song so let's go ahead and get into this see what this about man i'm working on dying yeah, yeah. gotta have a space yeah. you gotta have a space i mean freedom you know what i mean uh for Vegas be looking raw as hell on camera and shit, bro. You go to that shit, that shit do not be looking at the hype, like how they be having it on camera and shit. Space to get this shit off. Yeah. Yeah. Get this shit off my mind, off my chest. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. With every record, I be asking the masses to tune your hearts to me. I represent intelligent niggas that grew up harshly. Mm. But lately, I've been questioning, second guessing whether or not I've got something to offer since I didn't eluded poverty. Mm. Or has the money walked? Okay, hold on, bro. I be asking the masses. Yeah. Yeah. With I, be, I be late on shit sometimes, bro. With every record, I be asking. With every record, I be asking the masses to tune your hearts to me. I represent intelligent niggas that grew up harshly. But lately, I've been questioning, second guessing whether or not I've got something to offer since I didn't eluded poverty. Mm. Or has the money watered me down? That truth is hard for me. Oh, um, bro, I swear to God, bro, I'm telling you, bro, like, these, these, these are niggas that admit to that shit, bro. Like, nigga, I eluded poverty, meaning, like, nigga, I, I had some type of influence on, like, in a point in time where like I'm probably was misguided motherfuckers or whatever the case may be through my music or some shit, you know? And it's like he saying like he represented the niggas that intellect grew up harshly, like in a sense of like nigga, whoever thinking like do some shit without guidance or whatever the case may be, bro, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to tell y'all what's really what really what it is. And he talking about files the money, washing them down and shit. Like, bro, that's why I was just sitting on the video I was just reacting to with Jonah Lucas, bro, like People, people, like, you got to understand, but, like, you can't let money make who you is, bro. You can't let it make you or break you, bro. And you and you will realize that when you realize that you will start being down to earth spiritually and, like, just materialized type shit, bro. For real, bro. And that that's just real shit. Like the second the money watered me down, that truth is hard for me. Like the second time I got cut from the junior varsity, oh. fighting back tears, I promise to switch gears and said to myself, whatever you do, you won't do it partially. Mm. From this day forward, I move with a new ferocity. Mm. Ferrari coupe velocity, a fail proof philosophy. Oh, Success. He said Ferrari coupe velocity on game. <laughs> I'm moving, nigga. I'm moving. You know, I'm you know, I'm moving through this shit, nigga. I'm not gonna do this shit partially, nigga. Like whatever I'm doing. And it makes sense to me. I'm gonna do this shit the correct way, on bro. I swear to God, I feel him on that, bro. That's, that's big facts, bro. City Ferrari coupe, but I move with a new. You won't do it partially. From this day forward, I move with a new ferocity. Ferrari coupe velocity, a fail proof philosophy. Success is in the effort. So if a nigga tried his hardest, I'm at peace knowing God ain't dealing in this group of cars for me. Some people say that I'm running third. They threw the bronze at me. Behind Drake and Dot, yeah, them niggas are superstars to me. Maybe Whoa, deep down, on, I'm afraid. Hold on, hold on. What do you say? The superstars to me third they threw the bronze at me behind drake and dot yeah them niggas are superstars to me maybe deep down i'm afraid of my luminosity so when you see me on red carpets i'm moving awkwardly he said deep down i'm afraid of my luminosity okay he could be speaking about like how like he a part of that sh he could be like a part of that shit. he admitting that shit, whatever i don't i don't know 
I don't know what he mean by it, but like honestly, bro, far as the bronze, bro, but like I don't know, man, cause like Drake, Drake, I fuck with Drake, man. I'm not I, Drake, like I fuck with Drake when he be real by rapping and shit. That's why I fuck with Drake, bro. And like Drake, like he not one track minded, bro. He really not. That's why I fuck with him too. But like far as message wise, hell no, nah, bro. Delivering messages, hell no. Nah. Drake is not. Better than J. Cole, bro. And I'm just being honest, bro. Like J. Cole Drake, I fuck with Drake can reminisce. I mean, he can he can express himself in good ways and shit. But like far as messages and goals and delivering on some real shit, hell no, bro. Drake is not better than fucking J. Cole, bro. That that's that that's just be that industry shit, bro. It's about who's selling the most, who got the most records and shit. So like honestly, bro, like I feel like it's K Dot and J Cole, and honestly, like, uh, like, and it's people that don't even get noticed, bro. Like Black Thought for like Black Thought, raw as hell, bro. Andre three thousand, raw as hell, bro. You know, like those type of people, bro. And it's like it's like in a sense of just being like, come on, man. Like people gotta stop looking at shit for, but that's how the industry go, bro. Like that should just be weird, bro. I don't know, but like J Cole is better than Drake, bro. I ain't gonna even lie, four fives. Messaging lyrical deep in meaning, hell no. Nah. For Drake is not fucking with J. Cole, bro. Posing all nervous, afraid of the judgment. Moving awkwardly, posing all nervous, afraid of the judgment. And the thought of showing too much of my day is repugnant. I be keeping my kids away from the gaze of the public. Cause these days it feel like haters, they favorite subject. Fuck it. Attitude like a young old shade with an AK. Ain't that your brain violating? I bust it. I don't play when it come to family. He say, he say, nigga, I keep my kids out the media from away from the shit. Cause like, I'm telling you, bro, like, bro, you got to keep your private life private, bro. Seriously, bro. You got to keep that shit private, bro. You can't be out here wilding, bro. Or just, you got to keep your private life private. You know what I mean? Don't don't let motherfuckers know what you going through with your, in your private life. You know, because, like, that shit is not healthy folk because it's all it's all an outlet for somebody to be like all oh, slender this person or do this or do that you can't let motherfuckers know your private life bro it's you could talk to motherfuckers i ain't saying like you shouldn't talk to motherfuckers or whatever but letting them know too much about your private life bro, is a bad fucking decision bro because they feed off that shit people want fuel to feed off of when when it's a situation where they feel like you know what I, I I need I need new information. I need some new. I need new energy to feed off of. I need new information to feed off of in order to feel alive. Type shit, bro. That's why you can't do that shit. Even when you got kids or whatever, like or just in those type of situations, bro. Motherfuckers be waiting on that shit. So I feel what he's saying for that shit. You gotta keep your kids and their private shit away from the media and shit, bro. That shit real. That's one thing I refuse Pipping they kids out for views Or just to be in the news Can okay, never exactly. be me I piss in the celebrity tea God with me on this record This is Heaven's EP uh, The tale's official The best nigga breathing it Just failed to hit you uh, You couldn't tell Cause you failed for the bells and whistles uh, And that's an area I don't excel I'm from the Ville Where young girls talk grown as hell mm, It's raw Never saw one person go to yell But every nigga that I know Done gone to jail mm, At least one once, proving we the ones police hunt for the pains we smoke three oh facts bro facts never seen a nigga go to jail but i seen plenty go to jail bro and i was just watching shit with farrakhan we were just talking about that like how as a community like as a like community like how when it comes to black people or whatever the case may be bro that people start viewing shit like we can police ourselves. We can make our, like, sticking together more than hating each other. We can police ourselves, just like how these other nations and uh, races doing shit, whatever the case may be. We can, we can, we can police ourselves. We can, like, get edu educate ourselves in a way like we can create shit, like, we can have more males going and, like, graduate from school. Because it's like a lot of females graduate from school as, as in a black culture than males would. So it's like, it's like I know the community fucked up, and that's what it is. But like, if you if we could police ourselves, and create better, like, opportunities for ourselves as a people sticking together and shit, we could have scientists, we could have police, we could have 
medical care, all that shit. We could do a lot of that shit. Like, that's what shit Dr. Sebi was doing. He started his kids doing that shit, bro. You know what I mean? And that's, that's just how that shit go, bro. Now, think about if he can have kids from, all, like, he had kids by multiple females, whatever the case may be, but he all, he showed them all what to fucking do to keep that shit going. And not saying, like, they doing exactly what he was doing, but in the sense of way, it's healing out here from for shit like that, bro. Because everything is really through herbs, bro. It's not like they all these pills they give people at hospitals, drawing your blood 24-7, all these vaccinations and vaccines and shit they put until baby was born. For that shit is to do something to your brain, bro. It's like being the fucking army, bro. Like, or just shit like that. They give you a lot of vaccines and shit. Or just going to play. That shit is doing something to some shit that you already not, you already going through through trauma. And they putting that shit in you and doing something extra to you to... Like, turn into some shit that you ain't supposed to be. It's damaging you, bro. Everybody's just fucking puppets, bro. You know what I mean? So you wake up out of that shit and you find the real healing, bro. You're going to be like, you know what? Yeah, I don't I don't need, I don't want that shit. I don't need that shit. I don't, that shit is like made in, made in fucking laboratories and shit, bro. And all that type of shit. I don't want shit that be made in the lab to put in my body for. That come with food and all that shit too, bro. It's a point in time where like, Cancer and all that shit didn't exist, bro. Like through through black people or whatever the case may be, just people. Sometime period, it started coming through the food. It started coming through all this shit, bro. But like, they it's immune to our system, so like we gotta we gotta get this shit, bro. They been killing us off for the longest, bro. I'm not gonna go too deep into that shit, bro. Cause I probably just get off topic, bro. Three blunts the size of tree trunks. Two on three blunts and right run through. Blunts and shit, bro. Like weed, bro. That shit got hella chemical in it, bro. That shit is not how it used to be back then, bro. The ones police hunt for the pains. We smoke three blunts the size of tree trunks. Too much hunger, it's no wonder these niggas can't keep up. So saying yes to a feature just means I'm about to eat lunch, bitch. Oh. I'm going for it. No, never shall he punt. I'm the one, and you can be sure. Speaking of beachfront, I'm kicking my feet up while I write this in somewhere tropical. Supposed to be relaxing. This passion makes that impossible. Oh. Mm. Supposed to be relaxing, this passion makes that impossible. Oh, bro, nigga, I was supposed to be relaxing, this passion make that impossible. That shit is impossible, bro. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> You'll be like, feel like, man, I got purpose or doing shit for like that shit. You don't feel alive, bro. Bro, you not gonna feel alive, bro, if you don't have see purpose in your vision, bro. Figuring out who you is and what you need to do for you, not gonna feel alive, bro. And this people in general. You not gonna feel alive in that peace with yourself, bro. How they just make us say we gotta go work jobs, settle for shit when we have kids, or just that's not how that shit's supposed to be, man. You is not gonna feel alive, bro. You gonna feel fucking drained, bro. You gonna feel dead, bro. You gonna feel all those things, bro. And you gotta. That's why I say for purpose and vision, bro, and lifestyle and life, bro. It matter, bro. You know what I mean? It creates a balance of, like, it creates a balance, pretty much. Because that's what the world need, bro. The world need balance, peace, and love to, and, like, it's war and shit, too, bro. Like, right? for the world need balance, peace, and love, bro. That's the only way this shit gonna make sense to a motherfucker, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Like, that shit real, bro. It's like, you gotta, you gotta do what you, you gotta do, sometimes you gotta do what you don't wanna do to get what you need to get what you need done, bro. You gotta compromise. And that's the only way, but you just live like, I gotta just do it, for you gonna feel dead, bro. You gonna feel dead, seriously. Yeah, I, I get out of, I get out of, uh, I get out of 10, bro. At Mint Mobile, we're always looking for innovative ways. I get out of 10, man. Y'all rate that, man. That's J. Cole, Heaven's EP. Rate that. Want the 10, man. I give it a 10. Y'all got loud with me. Y'all vibe with me. So subscribe to me, man. I'm gone.